Revit allows you to do what's called tile your windows so that you can see multiple views at the same time. To do this, we first need to have multiple views open. So if you don't already have multiple views open, come over here underneath the project browser and double click on a few of these views just so that you can have more than one view open at a time. In this case, I've opened up my levels one, two, three, and four. And even though we can only see one of these views at a time, Really, all four of these views are open simultaneously. Now, to be able to tile them so that we can see them, underneath the View tab, over here above the word Windows, there are a couple different options. One is Cascade Windows. If you select on Cascade Windows, you'll be able to see each of your individual views and they're cascaded down the list. If you have a view that was minimized, such as what this one was, you can select on this button here, which is the first one, which is Restore Up, and then select on Cascade Windows, and you'll be able to see all four of those views at the same time. Now, at this point, you could take the time to move these around on the screen by just dragging on the titles up at the top. Also, the second you select on any of the titles going across the top, that becomes the active view, and any properties that are associated with that particular view will change and update as you select on that view. But the other option that we had was to tile the windows. So instead of having them overlapping each other and you manually having to adjust them so that they all fit on your screen, if you select on tile, it will automatically try to tile each of these windows. And then you can zoom in and zoom out of each of these different views the way you'd like to on the screen. Now, to be honest, I rarely have three or four of these open like I do currently. Even three, such as this condition here, would be a fairly rare thing for me to do. And I'm just going to click the X here in order to close one of these windows. What I usually have, though, is I'll have one open, and then I'll have a second one open. So I'm going to close my level four, as well as my level three views, by just clicking on the X up in the corner. Then I'm going to click on my 3D view icon up at the top of the screen and then select on Tile Windows. By doing this, if I make a change in the 3D view, I'll be able to see what that change would look like here in my plan view. And vice versa is true as well. If I make a change in my plan view, I'd then be able to see that change over here in my 3D view. Now I don't want to make a major change to my model. I kind of like it the way that it is. But just to demonstrate that, if underneath the Architecture tab, you move down and select on the picture of the wall. Then here in your plan view, click one spot, move over, and then click another spot. When you do this, you'll automatically see another curtain wall show up over here on the side. That's that curtain wall that you just drew in this view. If you decided to move over to your 3D view and then move the curtain wall, you'll see that that updates over here in your floor plan view. And if you delete it, and you can delete it by either hitting the delete key on the keyboard or clicking on the red X up here, or just right clicking and then going to delete, you'll see that it deletes it in both views simultaneously. So by coming underneath view and selecting on tile windows, you can have multiple views open at the same time and be able to see those changes if you're working in one view in the other views that might be affected by those changes.